Sadly, Toys R Us stores are being shut down left and right due to bankruptcy, but this store, Toys R Us, is one of the most important stores in history to my life. And with that today, I want to look at the history of Toys R Us and celebrate their life. Toys R Us is an American toy retailer founded in 1957 and was founded by Charles P. Lazarus, who was born in 1923. Charles started out owning furniture stores called Children's Supermarket in 1948. What made you think to start a business catering to babies? Everybody I met in service said they were going to go home and get married and have children. And I decided that along with, with the entree from my uncle, who had influenced me greatly, uh, was enough for me to go into the baby furniture business. After years of selling children's furniture, Charles Shift was slowly being focused to toys. Hence, Toys R Us. Somebody came in one day and said, how about a toy for my baby? I looked at him and said, well, what do you mean a toy? Well, you know, something to play with in the high chair or in the playpen or in the stroller. So the first toys we sold were baby toys, all baby toys. And then, I guess I discovered as we went on, by the time the second baby came, they didn't buy a new high chair, they didn't buy a new crib, they didn't buy a new bathing thing, but they did buy new toys. Through the years, the store's aesthetic went through a few changes, as most stores do, but overall, they mostly stayed with the same vibes and feels that they began with. One thing that any Toys R Us kid will never forget is Jeffrey the Giraffe. <laughs> Originally known as Dr. G. Raff in 1950s print advertisements for Children's Bargain Town, Jeffrey the Giraffe involved in name and appearance over the next 10 years to become the official mascot for the now Toys R Us. Jeffrey's design went through several phases over the next 50 years before the current spotted iteration was cemented in 2007. Growing up in the 80s and 90s, being a Toys R Us kid was a dream come true. This place was a magnificent wonderland filled with everything we've been seeing during our commercials on our Saturday morning cartoons. This place had bikes, they had toys, they had tiger handhelds, everything you could think of, but they most importantly for me had tons and tons of video games. Check out that sign. Now we're in the world of the world of an ah, Very exciting. I hear a curious kid. Let's go. You see, Toys R Us wasn't like a lot of the stores we have nowadays with video games. They didn't have just one tiny little section devoted to video games. They had five to six consoles hooked up with lines of kids waiting to get their hands on a game. Endless rows of your favorite games beautifully presented to our young eyes. Nintendo powers by the dozen being read by fans yearning to find out what to do next in their favorite games. Kids arguing about what console was better in their eyes. You see, for me, Toys R Us was a place where I felt 100% accepted. This is a place that I could call home. This is where I felt completely embraced for the culture that I lived in. I spent hours here with my brothers, talking over what we should save to buy next. Hours drooling over Mario 64 early gameplay videos. Hours watching VHS walkthroughs about Mega Man games inside a Toys R Us store. The simple way to say all this is I simply was a Toys R Us kid. I can remember the smell. I vividly remember the sounds coming from the store. I can still see the bright, bold 90s colors gleaming from each and every row. If you grew up during this era, you will know one of the biggest standouts of your life, whether you were a Toys R Us kid or not, was the Toys R Us commercials. I don't wanna grow up.
The children's retailer perfectly brought the Toys R Us experience into our homes as well. Commercials were airing left and right between each and every cartoon commercial break I had in my home. These commercials are so special to me. I smile with pure joy watching these, and truth be told, there are times I tear up watching some of these ads. So the boy fell asleep in the Toys R Us store. And he woke up with toys from the ceiling to the floor. We've got the Nintendo Action Set, including the control deck with double game pack and zapper light gun for just $99.99 at Toys R Us. And we have all the hottest game cartridges at great everyday low prices. Love growing up with my Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us. You'll never outgrow us. They were a part of my history. It's a part of my life that I can't relive, and if I did try to relive it, I can't relive it with the same innocence I did when I was a small child. While making this video, I realized that Toys R Us actually had a bigger part in my life than I knew. It helped shape who I am today. The person I am right now is a part of my motto and a staple as who I am as a human being because I don't want to grow up. If you look at me, look at my clothes, look at what I do, I can say as a man in his 30s who plays video games and still plays with toys, I can still proudly say, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Thanks for watching.